All right, again, now I'm looking at Top Esports and I'm like, this looks like they're going back to the good old front to back wombo combo. You've got Orn plus Rel to start your fights, bullet time down the bot lane. It's one of the of his most legendary champions. Now, Weibo Gaming, they have the Orn. They can use that as a late level one invade, but Top Esports oh, are already aware. They knew that they wanted to come disrupt the seeds here. Now Chris going to be a little bit of trouble. And Mimeko is the oh, one that Michael. has to part his flash. Xiao who just jumped in there, but now the damage from Tarzan is pretty what? hefty. It's going to be Trey's level one here as it's going to chaos. Maybe the game being decided as the bird coming through. It's going to be the light that claims another one, and he's doing serious work. Kakasa blows. It's a prob level one. What are you doing? You can never win that fight. Cream's gonna go down too, and it is absolute bloodshed on the rift. Triple kill for Tarzan, and the minions have barely walked into lanes. TM because he does have the increased clear speed as well. They're gonna be fast over these drums. I love it. That's my man. Oh, Tarzan. <laughs> he's just wanted to get the one, you know, maybe come back and fight a little bit. They're gonna take a chunk and play it, but. We are going to contest over this. Bruce this first move over here, but we're looking at mid left prior and Mango is coming over as well. 369 is going to pop that horn horn. Top Esports looking to go in, but Shao is also found an angle here. Crash is going to be flashed out of way. They're out handsing Top Esports early game here. Shao Hu just broke all of their ankles. That was insanity. Later on, Mako and Jackie Love trying to contest. There's a bullet time coming out on bot side. So Chris did Ooh. not have the Unbreakable to stop that damage. Now Tien going to move over. Dragon getting a little bit low. There's the Smite fight coming through. It's going to go to Tarzan. Tarzan, three, two, man. Wait, no, it's going to be clinked out of. It's just going to be the single. Lil T Lullaby here. Mako getting low. Crash coming through. Cream looking for the damage. Looking for the kills. There's Light flashing over. And now the damage is done. Tien claims a kill. Mako trying to save Cream. Trying to get Cream another kill. Chowhu trying to get himself out of the pit now as well. He'll just go down yet again. And Cream coming up clutch on this Zeri. Things like that in the LPL that just become so pivotal in these best of fives. And Cream showing he can have the hands on Zeri. At least maybe Xiaohu maybe putting him uh -oh. down though. Damage Ooh. done. Xiaohu, what a play. The solo bolo to the Tiger King of Spring. They're actually looking for a play on the light down here. He does have the chains, but the crash down combo with the bullet time is just too much Ooh. to bear. Jackie Love strikes him down. Literally the last stick right there. I feel like Guardian procced from Crisp as well as he was approaching, but it just wasn't quite enough to keep Light alive. And Top Esports, they're breathing life a little bit into their gameplay. Bot lane playing a little bit more aggressive. Jackie Love now on a stage where he can be set to carry. He's maybe getting picked upon no now. Flash. We'll see. Not going to hit. They're still going to try to move forward, though. Crispus hit the concuss blows. Tien is by himself. Does get the lockdown on Tarzan. Jackie Love getting jumped up by Xiaohu. And Jackie Love, he's going down. Xiaohu finds another solo bolo. And he is just making his name felt in this game. Mako's going down, too. And everything's falling apart now as a da -da 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 double kill for Xiaohu. You had the bot lane magnet, man, versus BLG. You tried to shut that bot lane down so much that it actually backfired on top of these courts. And they ended up losing now. Uh, put that on a hold because 369 knows he's going to die. He has to use the ultimate to clear out the wave. Outside top esports, always good at responding in the moment, finding ways to pick up a little bit of gold. And they're going to use these five grubs to make that so. All right, back to the theory about top esports. I feel like you said it very well about Cream. Lane to play with him and it just hasn't necessarily been going the best but top esports really need to wake up right here and then looking at weibo gaming into this river taking the referral away from them they have no response a representative from each lpl world championship in this series each one with their lives on the line for that silver dragon cup here in 2024 summer it is all about that momentum all about the presence and weibo have been a little bit pushed to back here as the Rift Herald. Shahu on the side lane and Tarzan popping that Rift Herald on the side lane. Top lane would be perfect right here from Shahu because you can pop down the Rift Herald as top esports. See the resets coming through from Weibo Gaming and they'll claim themselves a mid lane tier one. Very important. Strength being Jackie Love, first and foremost. Trying to get as many of these turrets down. What's crazy to me is they were able to take a tier two down on bot side before uh, 14 minutes even.
But since then, you know, try to get a response is Weibo as they do take a bot side outer turret. Breed looking for a fight into 369. Trying to force his ultimate here. 369 doesn't have much mana. He's going to get the Dominus out. That's going to be an ulti trade from both of them. But a lot of their engage is going to rely on Tarzan finding a big Swirl Seed, getting a little thing lullaby, or the Chains of Corruption for Glacial Fisher coming out. So they have some options, but they're a little bit more uh, fewer and far between. Now we do get that outer turret taken down by top esports. Finally, the Rift Herald spawned up in mid lane by Weibo as they're going to try to take this one and potentially collapse into the dragon. I'm going to use that Rift Herald towards that mid lane. A very classic approach, creating mid lane pressure. However, this time around, Cream. it does work because it's the entire tower. Cream. My god, he's not safe anywhere. Lane or mid. Cream has been having a pretty rough game right okay, here. Okay, Ooh, okay, okay. Flank TP. There we go. They got three man top. Oh, oh he's just going to go for it. Breathe! You absolute menace. Gets the one kill back, and he's absolutely monstrous. 369 too late. The train had already left. Breathe. Already under tower. Killing Cream, taking his flash as well. Pinning down Cream in this series has been of pivotal importance for Weibo Gaming, taking the threat away from top esports' mid laner. Oh no. Has been what they've needed. Tien might have Tien, to flash here. If he has the flash there, that is really big. Mako luckily comes over just in time. Also, Tien was top side of the map, which means that Weibo Gaming took a very free dragon. And that's a completely different Renekton game than we saw over in game number one. Again, the difference between red side and blue side, much easier to dive with Renekton when you are on red side. Weibo Gaming, this four uh, members top, man. He's just the train conductor, man. Leave him alone. He just wants to do his job. All right, now his job is to kill you as he sent the train into top esports. As uh, actually, now they're trying to find a little bit more. As Weibo, they turned it around. There's the bullet time completely going wide by Jackie Love. And Light now hits that Chains of Corruption on the side, but it's all by his lonesome. He's finding picks on the side lane. Talking about picks on the side lane. The team they got another from Breed. one. Another <laughs> one. And another one. And another one comes for top esports. And you might as well choo call Weibo the Reaper. They want to deny 369 everything. And they do just that. Pings onto the Baron. Weibo, they're feeling like they can move this into even more. Esports are looking at a four versus five to stop the Baron. Do you smell that trouble? I smell desperation. Top esports locked out of the pit they're trying to get in it's actually jackie love that saves oh. them from that darkness they get the baron but what did it cost tian is going down as well there's only one member left breathe can't find him cream looking to trade back as much as possible but doesn't have the vision it will be a trade back and forth here and that's where we've talked so much about the team fight strength for top esports man they are going to be on three items for literally everybody it feels like in these next fights. Weibo, it seems like they're willing to buy a little bit of time here for themselves and try to get to a scaling factor of their own. And it, hey, it's working well for them. They're going to take a tier two here and look to push even more. Oh, Weibo the Baron. They're going to have to... What's their dragon... Uh, what's their tower, sorry? Tier one, tier two in the top lane four. Oh, uh, no, you Shaku? had to know they were there. Show who goes down to Jackie Love and now top esports take full control. Any scarier on this crocodile, however, we always need to keep an eye on him in terms of who he pins down mm -hmm. onto these team fights because one W from Renekton could be absolutely massive. Weibo Gaming have not been giving them team fights. Breathe, <laughs> you're walking into two people, mate. If you just keep having these big catch outs, I mean, hey, hey, if you leave your, your ADC alone, he's just gonna die. Finally, able to dash through and get the kill. A little bit of redemption <laughs> there for Cream. And that was 369 bringing his friends in because he's been bullied on the side lane a plenty of times. Now they're gonna take that wave underneath a tier three over in the top lane. Threatening inhibitor tower. Chris was going down. They do end up having a little bit of damage under the turret there. 369 gonna be forced off his back. Jackie Love just takes the turret. Now try to fight it to Tarzan. Gonna get Lilting lullabied. In a little bit of trouble. TP oh, on the Shao. bot side, though, to try to answer into the push from Xiaohu. There's the bullet time going to be blocked off by the Unbreakable. Luckily, Xiaohu has been doing work here, taking his own inhib. And this is what Xiaohu does best, is taking sideline pressure. And then brute force with bodies to the other. So they walked up, they set down their vision, they pushed Weibo Gaming out, and now Weibo Gaming know that they cannot face check them. What does Top Esports do? They just face check straight into that dragon and take it away because they know they cannot be followed up on. 
if he does end up having the engage mako goes for it first bullet time can be used that's a lot of tools from top esports weibo they smell blood in the water they smell something afoot light is gonna get engaged on here Trace corruption coming back breathe he's found tn if you take tn out that's a lot of sustained damage going down for trying to kill him here but now he's being focused on by top esports he does get one can he get out stairs gate should be popped though it will just be the one for one trade in the end Top Esports will claim some back. Yeah, they know. They're all turning on him. Do they know? They know. They know. Run they away. Know, breathe. Know. Oh, no. Breathe. <laughs> They're just chasing him down. Oh, oh no, they no. caught Shahu. Caught the line of fire. And Top Esports, they've woken up. They're trying to fight back, though. Tarzan getting a big little tingle on my light, getting a little bit of tussle back. But still, three members stronger. Top Esports and Jackie Love finally awakened is our king. It is after Shahu dies. But it's Jackie Love with a 4.3k lead and four items in his inventory. The rest of the members. Top Esports realize they don't need to pull the trigger here, but they realize they can. And Weibo moving in over on the side. They don't have Breathe just yet. He's going to collapse. The Dragon goes to Top Esports. The shielding is going to come alive as re-engage. Oh, oh my, my god. god! It's a catastrophe of Weiboic proportions as Top Esports have come in cleaned house and awoken the demons inside them tarzan gonna be chased down but you look at the other members of top esports and they know where the heart is and they're going straight for it another double kill for jackie love and they're sealing the deal right here in game number two evened out as we have jungle combat down the bot lane they're gonna try to tussle it out but it's pity prizes wait guys all wait for let them fight. and let no them fight. we will not let the fight continue because let we're going fight. to game number three as top esports even us up these were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 lpl summer split matchup which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.